Uh, we are going to go into the continent of Asia right now, and we're going to welcome our Honorable Professor George, the man of God that loves God. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Good morning. Praise God. And uh, good morning to you all. I hope you are audible to me. Uh, yes. It's a great yes, we can talk. hear you, sir. Yeah. Uh, it's a great, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a great privilege for me to meet you all in this uh, group to talk to you. And uh, uh, every time I just uh, take some time to look into that, it's been really inspiring. And also, <coughs> uh, I thank uh, Pastor uh, Light uh, uh, SE for uh, leading it. And uh, I praise God and thank God, the Triune God and the Holy Spirit is leading each and every one of us through these uh, programs. Thank God. Uh, now, as we go into the uh, continental prayer for Asia, in uh, Psalm 31 verses 9 says that, Oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you and work for those who take refuge in you, in the sight of uh, the children of mankind. Let us thank God for uh, his uh, abundant blessings, uh, known and unknown works over the continents. As I've uh, been uh, telling that currently we have, uh, there are 48 Asian countries and uh, nearly about, uh, uh, the population is about 4,757 million. And uh, Asia is uh, a population is about 60% of the world population. Let's all thank uh, for this. Among that, uh, China 29%, India 29%, I mean nearly 30%, 30% each. And then uh, Indonesia 5.7%, Pakistan 5%, Bangladesh. Uh, then uh, uh, you have 3.6%, uh, 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 Japan 2.6%, uh, and Philippines. 2.5% and also the Arabian countries or the Middle East. We have a good population. These are the uh, countries and these are regions. Uh, uh, let's, let's thank God for all the blessings, the natural resources and all uh, uh, the developments happening in these regions. Let's all thank God. Uh, let's all thank together. Lord, right. we thank you for the unknown and uh, uh, known and unknown goodness and blessings of yours over the Asian continent. We thank you. Let's thank God for the people, the natural resources, supplying all our physical needs, food, clothes and shelter, breaking uh, the sinless body of Jesus Christ on the cross for all uh, nearly 5,000 million people uh, on the cross for everyone carrying our sins on his body. Let's thank God, praise God for a minute. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful night. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you. We bless you for your success. Thank you. But there is none that is like up to you for you. Thank you, Lord, for anointing. You are awesome. You are mighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for Asia. Thank you for the world. Thank you for the world. Every country, oh God, the Lord, 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 China, India, and uh, the major countries are Lord. Thank you, this money, God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. God over Asia, so God, we worship for God. All these countries, God, thank you. Indonesia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Japan, Philippines, and all the Arabian countries and other countries in the. God, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you. Now, as we pray that, uh, to pray, uh, let's say also able to confess our rebellion and every form of sin committed by the people of the continent in uh, Ezekiel 22. Chapter 28 to 30 says that, and the her prophet has been smeared, whitewashed for them, uh, seeing false visions and uh, divining lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord, but the Lord has not spoken. The people of the Lord have practiced extortion and committed robbery. They have oppressed the poor and the needy and have exhorted from the 
sojourner without justice but uh, the lord says i sought for a man among them who should build up the wall and stand in the breach therefore me for the land that i should not destroy it but uh, i found nothing and uh, second chronicles uh, uh, chapter 2 verses uh, sorry chapter 7 verses 14 says if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and we have uh, 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 in in the continent for 26.1% of uh, the people are under idol worship and the pagan evil spirit which craft sorcery it's about 26.1% under hinduism and 25.7% are under islamic spirit and 20% people did not uh, believe in any religion and uh, about 11.3% buddhism and uh, all folk religions are about 8.6% so we pray that that the lord will deliver uh, all these uh, countries every one from the spirit of hinduism idol worship pagan and evil spirits which craft and sorcery and from the islamic spirit and the spirit of unbelief and disobedience and the spirit of buddhism and the folk religion let's pray Heavenly Father, we pray for your deliverance. Yes, Lord, we love you so much. Yeah, we have all the praises. Lord, 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 we of uh, the powers of darkness over every community islands cities in the nations of the asian continent the lord jesus thank you lord jesus we have about 7.2% christians in uh, these continents uh, the asian continent in all these countries and this 7.2% if they become really powerful christians Uh, transformed by the power of the holy spirit washed by the blood of jesus christ and lord jesus and uh, if they are uh, uh, sincerely if they repent and turn to jesus christ and be available if they are available for taking the gospel across it's easy to win the win the continent let's pray that this 7.2% of the christians in the continent would be able to reach to uh, the people let's pray uh, the christians will be powerful heavenly father we pray that 7.2 percent we pray that we thank you lord we show you for the god the lost is a person powered by jesus and that was Lord Jesus, and Lord, repentance and deliverance and commitment to Jesus Christ, we pray, O Master, we turn to Jesus Christ fully, so that He will be utilized to be fruitful to His people. Lord, we pray to you, Lord, that you come down to them, O Master, to be the light of the Jesus Christ. Fall on the Lord. ഗോസ്പൽ 
they don't want the gospel to be reached and people should be, uh, to be converted so they are have uh, amended the uh, anti uh, christian laws uh, anti conversion laws in many states in our country and even the miracles uh, there should not be they say that there should not be any uh, any campaigns healing campaigns or any sort of things so it's getting banned in uh, india we should pray for the persecuting church by the hindu radicals false cases charged against men and women of god and putting them in uh, jails in india and uh, recently our uh, bishop honorable uh, vice chancellor uh, professor Do dr lal was uh, in jail for two months and uh, there are about 28 false cases have been charged against him and he had to go to supreme court for all the cases and the supreme court we are getting uh, uh, real uh, uh, the verdict favoring uh, each and every one of the cases but it is very costly and a lot of money is been lo losing and uh, it's a lot of torture from the government and also the present the communist government in china and the radical muslims in pakistan and other muslim countries we have to pray that uh, there should be deliverance and let's pray lord we pull down every stronghold lord jesus Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we call every struggle holding people of China, holding people in India, Father, that have not given their life to Christ. We pray God to touch them. Father, let them be, oh God, Father, for mass repentance, mass repentance, mass repentance. God, this set of the Asian God has been given to the enemy of this fight. We thank you now the, you know, the general elections are coming in india by the month of april and uh, may and june it will be finishing the uh, the country is facing the elections we pray that gov the government the coming government should be chosen by the lord and only the lord decide the people who should be ruling the nation in india similarly other countries the government should be chosen and put by the by the lord by the almighty god because uh, uh, the word says that uh, the lord put uh, the government and uh, the rulers the, without the knowledge of uh, the lord nothing can happen this time uh, we pray that to, uh, to the lord that uh, a favorable government for the uh, uh, ministry for a gospel uh, should be coming in uh, india and other countries let's pray lord we pray for uh, our country india and other countries also we stand the gap of for uh, all the, uh, in the asian continent lord jesus for all uh, the government your name and lord in a special way they should be selected by you you should put them on the on the respective chairs so that our master they will be posted and they should support the gospel and the present of the forthcoming election in india lord jesus we pray that our master there will be complete uh, Father, in the name of jesus as we bring Kostiam the continental Asia before you, we bring Kostiam the elections in India, Father. In the name of Jesus, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father. That, Father God, you Kostiam the Amanda to the one you may be able to make the one point with them. He left Kostiam the Amanda to the Christian continent that we bring Kostiam God here in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Those a man that will have Osiam and a man that to a heart for Christianity, Lord, a heart for you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Osiam, 
Oh yes, Lord, so that there will be freedom for your children in India, Father. They will be able to worship you freely, Lord, in an ocean and in a man. Oh, Father, we glorify you. We adore you, Father. We glorify you, Father. We Oh yes, Father, have your way, have your way, Father God, in the elections, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that Father God, you will be glorified, in the name of Jesus, Father, oh yes, Lord, we give you glory, we honor you, Spirit of the living God, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Uh, let us enforce the victory of uh, Jesus Christ over the strong man behind all the evils of the continent. And the first Corinthians uh, 15, 57 says, But uh, thanks to be, uh, be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and giving victory to Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Also now, let us pray for a great uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit, a great revival, outpouring of the Holy Spirit, uh, by outbreaks in the communities, cities, and nations that make up the body. There should be a revival in every community, in every city, and every nation, every tribe, every clan, and revival. And what we have observed now, who we, have, uh, we used to have a lot of uh, uh, gatherings, uh, 10,000 people, 20,000 people, and used to come, and the government has, uh, has uh, put a halt to all these things. Uh, every Sunday used to have big gatherings, the government has put a halt to it. Now, what we want to do, the Holy Spirit should be speaking to the government people and all communities and cities so that the continent will be a breakthrough, great breakthrough by the Holy Spirit. And uh, let's pray that the Lord will be uh, great peace on every one of the ministers in the Asian continent, every government system, all the rulers, the collectors, the police officers, and uh, for more effective ministry and a revival of the church as in the days of the apostles. Let's uh, continue to pray. Acts 4, 20, uh, 33, it says that, and with great power the apostles were giving the testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, and great grace was upon them all. What's happening in uh, the act, uh, time of a lot of miracles were happening, and the apostles were being tortured, and every persecution, every time they persecuted, a lot of miracles happened, a lot of miracles happened, great miracles happened, and there was repentance, and there was great revivals, and uh, thousands of people were adding regularly to the churches. Even this time of persecution in India, in many parts of uh, the Asian countries, Pakistan and uh, uh, many parts uh, like China uh, happening in the Asian countries, we pray that uh, there will be a great testimony of the people uh, of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and there will be a great uh, grace uh, should be upon everyone. That should be our prayer. An extraordinary grace. Ephesians 6, 19 says, And so for me, that my words, that, that word be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel. That uh, people should not be ashamed, especially the believers should be reaching out with the gospel to as many as possible. They should not hesitate and they should not be fearing, but uh, there should be people reaching to as many people. There should be great miracles happening among the non-Christians, a lot of healing, a lot of deliverance from the evil spirit, 
they should be preaching the gospel resulting thousands and thousands of people in uh, india and other parts of the asian region uh, asian continent and uh, everyone should be receiving jesus christ through large revival meetings large powerful uh, expulsion of the holy spirit so that is what we should be praying so there should be we pray for the miracles pray for the healing and deliverance and from the evil spirit the lord should deal with the, the continent Let's all pray. Lord Jesus, we pray for great Father, miracles. in the name of Jesus, because they have in the mind. Oh, Father, we pray for bringing Christians this continent of Asia, for you bringing Russia, bringing Mongolia, Mongolia, bringing China, bringing Iran, bringing Iran, bringing Iran, as the Lord, the personal Savior, Father, we pray, oh God, that they that be revived by a revival in the Lord, Indonesia, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring them before your throne, all the nations of the continent of Asia, bring them before your throne, Father, we pray that you raise men and women, Lord, that you raise men and women, Father, in the name of Jesus, we have compromise, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we stand in the man of everyone, the Lord, help Lord, in the name of Jesus, have your way. Father, we pray for your miracles where they are being persecuted. Father, we pray for your miracles, Father, as you did in Acts before, Lord. In the name of Jesus, that Father God, you open prison doors, open prison doors for those, Father, that have been put in prison because of the gospel. Open prison doors, Father, for them. In the name of Jesus, for them, for nothing is impossible with you, Father. Have your way. Father God, Jesus. in this continent, have your way, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for the prosperity of the people, God's people uh, in our uh, continent. As I said, uh, that uh, there's seven percent Christians. They should be strong in the spirit. They should be prospered. They should be blessed so that they will be able to take the gospel to other people. So also we pray for the leaders, the rulers, the kings, and all those on position authority over the continent. And the first Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 and 2 says, I urge then first of all that petitions and prayers in the session and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and uh, all those in authority that you give uh, peaceful and quiet lives in all goodness and holiness. Thank you, Jesus, for your for your grace that you have given to us. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's put all Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise Father God, that Father, and oh yes, Father God, you strengthen your children, Father, that you provide, that you provide upon your children, Lord, in this continent, Lord, that for your children, there will be no lack, Father, in the name of Jesus, as they stand and preach the gospel, 
you will provide for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Provide their needs, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for salvation, Lord, upon all that are leading, Father, in this continent, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Father, they fear you, Lord. Oh, we pray, fear of God, fear of God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, in amen. Jesus' name. Yes, amen. Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Once amen. again, we have to pray for the persecutions. Uh, this year, we have uh, just completed half a year of uh, 90 days. 400 incidents of violence against Christians across 23 states in India and the comparatively during the same period from January to June 2022 there was 274 incidents of violence against Christians. So these attacks have been backed by the ruling party BJP, including ransacking of churches, monasteries and other Christian institutions. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Prof. Prof. Professor George.